What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, man? Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all already see I'm back on this 5TV. Told y'all last week, man, I got some fire, man. I'm going to keep that fire coming, man. And all I need for y'all to do is just share it, man. I got that fire working, right? But y'all got to remember, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and share this, right? It's tough out here, man. Tragic struck in Galveston, Texas, man. Uh, that's why I always tell y'all to stay out of them systems, man. What I mean by system, I'm talking about the penal code, man. Why? Because you see, you leave yourself wide open for whatever may happen to you, right? Uh, because sometimes when you go inside those systems, man, those officers in those systems have a fake sense of power. And they feel like they can do whatever the hell they want to do to you. Whenever, however, in a small incident or altercation with any one of those officers, you get treated bad, man. Trust me, I know. Been there, done that. And you will be on the end of a pair of boots, man. And it ain't no motherfucking fun. The feeling is not fun. When you find yourself a couple of feet up in the air and your face meet concrete. And what I'm about to show you today, man, uh, this is real life, man. Person lost their life inside of a uh, Galveston County jail. Beat by a male officer that wasn't in an altercation with another male. It was a female. And that's what I will say, man, whether you're a female or whether you're a male, when you go inside those institutions, you get treated the same, especially if you run across a racist officer. It's not going to end well, man. So whatever you have to do to keep your freedom, keep it, man, because that's the most important thing in the world is your freedom. And like I said, once it happened, yeah, they're going to march the streets of Galveston and all that other shit. All the politicians are going to come down. They're going to protest and demand justice. But it ain't going to bring that person back. But the way you beat the system is stay out of that motherfucker, man. Stay free. Because the woman I'm about to show you, man, is real appalling, man. And it's people or in line to protest the situation and demand justice. The families of this person that was killed, they demanding justice because they don't know what happened. Let me play this video for you, man. In the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful, we bear witness there is but one God to whom praise is due forever. We have collectively come here today. We have collectively come here today to demand justice for Brittany. We are absolutely angry and outraged that a male deputy, and it appears to be more than just one, got into a physical altercation with a woman, a mother, and now she is absolutely dead. They have yet to call the mother to explain to the mother what happened. They have yet to say to the mother what took place, how many deputies were involved. But we did learn that they attempted to put a charge on her for assaulting a deputy as though that justifies them killing this sister. What kind of man does it take to beat the hell out of a woman and kill a female inmate? What could that woman have done to this man to where it was so deadly, so dangerous, he had to kill this sister? This jail, this sheriff's department, this agency has a history for generations of beating the hell out of black people. This jail has a history for mistreating black inmates 
This jail has a history of denying African Americans their human and civil rights in this jail. Yes. Only a coward would beat a woman to death. What kind of deputy are you? We want to see the video. Yes. We want to see the video. Yes. We want to see the body cams if they exist. Yes. We want to see everything. We want to talk to other inmates yes. that may have witnessed this. Yes. There will be no damn cover up in this because we cannot tolerate or allow you to kill our women and you get away with it scot-free. We're not going to have it like that anymore. Black people are sick and tired of being sick and tired of dealing with this jail and this police department with African-Americans are being brutalized and victimized at the hands of this agency. This sheriff's department has always been notorious in dealing with black people in Galveston County. This is nothing new. You see this number of people here today? That goes to show you this is not an isolated incident. This has been going on. But we demand justice. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. By any means necessary. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. By any means necessary. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. By any means necessary. We want to see the video. Yes, sir. We want the video, not next week, not three weeks from now. And don't come to us about just wait till the autopsy report comes out. No, we want to see the video immediately. We want to see the video. We demand the video. And if you don't show us the video, we will lead a protest to this jail and shut this damn place down. We want the video. So we say to the sheriff, if you have nothing to hide, produce the video. If your deputy was in the right, produce the video. And we'll all go home. But let us see the truth. Because we know she's not the first to be brutalized in this jail. You get calls all the time about black people in this jail being beaten. That's nothing new. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Say what happened when you got the phone call about your daughter when they called you. Yes, I had got a phone this call. This is the mother. State your name. My name is Amanda Anderson. I'm Brittany Anderson, mother. I got a phone call from UTMB. I didn't get a call from the Galveston Sheriff Department. They didn't even call me. Tell what happened with that call. And then when I got the call, I dropped the phone. Cause I couldn't believe it. And they didn't even have the audacity just to call me and tell me what had happened to my baby. Oh, Jesus. She is a, Brittany is a mother of children. Yes, yeah, she has five living She children. has five children. She got a baby, her birthday be in a couple of days. She'll be one year old and, that and she baby. won't be able to spend her first birthday with her. Oh, wow. What happened in this jail that was such to the degree that she had to die. To die. To we want to know. I want to know what happened to my we baby. We can't tolerate this. Why did they beat her down and throw her back into a padded cell? They don't even have to, you don't even do an animal like that. No. That's right. Come on, man. And she wasn't no bad person to even be fighting like that for a man to be fighting her. Where's that son? You can bring him. This is what happened, man, when you allow yourself to get caught in a situation and you place yourself inside of a system and you give people total control of you. A mother has lost her child, regardless of the fact of what she did to get there. But you have to remember the system alone is not designed for you to make it. It's not designed for you to succeed. It's not designed for you to get out. It's designed for you to go in free labor and do what needs to be done inside of jails 
in order for you to get your freedom back. But we all know life exists on a chance. And when you out here doing the thing that's going to get you put inside of the system, this is the chance you take. It's a lose-lose situation. Because the very first time you get an altercation, this is what happened. Just like he said, it wasn't one. It probably was multiple officers that beat this lady. Let's go back to the video. Her son is here. And this is heartbreaking. How do we say to this child that you never see your mother again? What happened in this jail to their mother? We demand the video. And I'm saying to the sheriff, we are peaceful people. But we're sick and tired of this. We could not do this to your women. And we walk in peace. We want to see the video. And the video proves the point that it is what it is. But we want to see the video. We're not going to tolerate this in Galveston County. Anymore, black women dying in your jail because they got into an altercation with a deputy. What a weak, coward man that you can't subdue a woman. You got to kill her. This is Dr. Matthews. Dr. Matthews. Okay. Dr. Matthews, National Minister of Politics for the New Black Panther Nation. Well, this is clearly an example of the black woman being the most disrespected and the least protected. There is no need for this woman to lose her life over an altercation in this jail. And Brother Quarnell is absolutely right. We need to see this video. We need to know what happened in between that time frame from the altercation all the way to UTMB. We've been down here before in Galveston on some foolishness several times. And this does not make any sense. This lady has left behind children. She's left behind her family. She's left behind other loved ones. Don't nobody go to jail to come out dead. Don't nobody go in jail to check in, but you can't check out. That is absolutely unacceptable. And we stand in solidarity with this family. And if we got to rally all our people from around this state, we damn sure will. Because this is completely asinine. It's unacceptable. And we stand in the gap for this family. Galveston County, you better get it together because we coming. We'll take your questions. We'll take your questions. Are there any questions from the media? Yes, ma'am, please do. It's tough, man. It's tough out there. But like I always tell you, man, stay free. Stay free. That way you'll be in control of your life, man. Freedom is, is the most precious thing in the world. So like I tell you, man, this is fire. But this is what they don't want you to know. They're not talking about this. They're not talking about this. And a lot of people are not paying attention to this. A lot of people are not paying attention to this, man. Stay free, man. Stay free. Because if you don't, you allow yourself to get put in a situation like this, man. It's sad, but it's real. And the day I'm bringing it to you, 110 hour will cross the board, man. And for those that don't know where to watch this at, man, it's public information. That's what I'm speaking on, man. Until next time, man. Salute, man.